it's all about sustainability this morning. Now get this, the world's first ever virtual reality museum of plastic recently launched at the UN's Climate Change Conference of the Parties, COP26, in Glasgow, UK. The Museum of Plastic comprises of groundbreaking creative commissions that bring together art, science and digital technology and takes a positive stance on a pressing issue that could have a major impact on our shared future. Take a look at this. We created a virtual museum, a virtual museum of plastic. And a virtual museum is exactly like a normal museum, but in the virtual world. You have to imagine a museum that you can walk in from your computer, from your tablet, from your phone. If you have the goggles, even better because you can be it's very immersive. You can walk into that museum and see the artwork. Some have come from real life, but some have been created in that digital virtual museum. The museum is meant to raise awareness around plastic pollution, but also give hope for the future. What is the future? What are the interventions being done for, for plastic to be, to be tackled and dealt with? The main goal of that museum of plastic, and because people can chat with each other, is that we can have experts that are hosting panels there, so that you, me, someone else can attend those conferences. And together we can speak about climate change and the way to tackle climate change. I wanted to create an artwork that was uh, demonstrative of choice. So in the composition there's two penguins. The one on the left is unfortunately trapped in a piece of plastic, so that's kind of representative of our current trajectory where we don't really take the environment into consideration when it comes to consumption. And then the one on the right is a lot more colourful, he's kind of coming to the rescue of the other one. And that's more symbolic of our potential to change our choices when it comes to plastic and waste and hopefully repair our relationship with the environment. As an artist, I kind of seek out projects like this because the environment is something that I care about a fair bit, so it was a really good fit for me. I use nature a lot in my work, and this is a great opportunity to kind of work with a brief that I was so passionate about. I'm very conscious of, of plastic waste in my everyday life, so it was really nice to have the opportunity to bring it live through an artwork. The collaboration happened because we were doing murals within our community that was focused around ocean awareness and the cleanliness of the ocean and about re recycling and things like that and that is how we kind of got involved. The involvement of murals in my community and the awareness of single-use plastic is very important. Reason being because we all survive off the ocean and we also have a motto that water is life because we need the ocean to survive basically and that is why it's so important to create an awareness about single-use plastic and the consumers using single-use plastic because when we do the cleanups of the ocean we actually collected two tons of single-use plastic for last year alone. So it's very important to create an awareness around how to for these type of things. It was really great to have the opportunity to then take the mural and then put it into a virtual reality space and build an environment around the piece. So if you're a viewer, you're not only taking in the artwork, but then you also get more immersive environment where you can kind of turn 360. And pieces from the artwork are kind of like pulled out and moved around you. So it's a very interesting experience. And also I like that it's fairly innovative. Like that's the way we're going um, with technology and, and art these days. They're kind of merging a lot. So as you walk in the museum, there are different rooms and they speak about different subjects like industry, science, the past and the future of plastic. And it's incredible to see how the artwork explains the vision of the future. You really walk into a different world as you tackle and go through each room. I see the Museum of Plastic tackling one issue, which is plastic. But my hope is that that museum will grow and we can speak about the different issues around climate change and we can make it a global worldwide museum. Oh, that is amazing. It's, you know, it's so great to see how art is really being embraced to drive meaningful change in the world. We love seeing it. Of course, you can visit the Museum of Plastic 2121 through the Curate Tours app, which is available for Oculus Quest VR headsets and Windows PCs. You can, of course, be part of that change.